So if you've been keeping up with my videos, you are up to date on how I get ready to install a protective style. But if not, make sure you go back and watch those videos on how I remove my protective style and then how I treat my hair pre-poo before my actual wash day routine. So make sure you get caught up on all those videos. So if you're all caught up, then you're ready for this video. And in this video, I'm going to do something different. Girl, I'm about to comb my hair. I have not combed my hair in years. Listen, I'm scared of the comb. Like, it put fair in my heart. Like, seriously, I hate the comb. I'm tender headed. And plus, it just be, I be feeling it in my back. When I be combing it, it be like, each strand is connected to a different nerve pain and I just be feeling it through my body. So I just don't like the comb. So I've been avoiding the comb for years. The last time I combed my hair was probably like four years ago. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared of the comb. Like the comb be putting fear in my heart for real. So yeah, I'm not too keen on just running and combing my hair every single time. So I've been enjoying these last few years of not having to comb my hair. First, let me go ahead and tell you why I stopped using a comb. Number one, I'm tender headed. Okay, the, the, it just hurts. Okay. Number two, when I was doing my research, I figured that if I remove the comb from my natural long hair journey, that my hair will grow faster and I will be able to keep a majority amount of my hair on my head. That way, I can just get to waist length as quick as possible and it worked. But let me tell you something. It comes with work, okay? I have been working hard ever since I removed the comb from my long hair journey. Listen, it's a trade-off because you get to go weeks and months without having to detangle your hair, finger detangle that is. But when you do have to detangle it, ooh, like today, girl, let's just say put aside some days you are gonna need a day or two to actually detangle your hair and if you want to see a video on how to properly detangle your hair with a comb make sure you check out my video i did a few months ago on how to properly comb out your hair i'm working on freshly washed hair and i also put the deep nourishing hair oil on my hair because it's a light oil that i like to pre-seal my hair with and it doubles as a heat protectant so that's a win-win you see, I'm tender headed, so I hate combing my hair. So, this is how much is in the comb right now. I hate combing my hair. I'm gonna spray a little bit more water. Even though you just washed it, never be afraid to add more water. After pre-sealing my hair with a light oil, I'm gonna go straight into using a heavy leave-in conditioner. This is an all-natural butter and it's very heavy and thick. And I need it because my hair is very thick. And it also helps soften my hair so much. And I'm gonna need that softness because honey, I ain't combed my hair in years and I ain't into no type, all this pain, like I can't do it, uh-uh. I need my hair soft. So I'm gonna make sure I bring that through from root to end and make sure I get it on every strand. Then I'm going to cover it once more with a very thick oil. And this is a magic growth oil. And this is so thick, it's liquid gold. And I'm going to put this on my hair to help seal in all the water in my hair and help soften my hair because I need my hair soft. Now, I use both these oils and I still go ahead and use the comb. And as you can see, my hair is just soft it's like a cloud i'm getting right through it and then me using the blow dryer on it because these are natural oils and they have high heating temperatures it's going to be just fine my hair is still going to be protected and i won't suffer any type of heat damage at all usually this is where i would stop after I pre-seal my hair and then seal it with heavy butters and oils and then put my twist in, girl, I be putting my scarf on and I be going to bed. And I let my hair air dry and then I would just go straight into protective styling it for a couple of weeks. But 
I'm going to go straight into blow drying my hair. And like I said, I haven't blow dried my entire head in years. So I'm so excited to see where my hair is and see if my hair is suffering from any damage or anything like that because I have not been on my A game all these years. I've had my slip ups and my setbacks. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and come back and decide if I'm gonna blow dry my hair or not. We'll see how I feel. The last section. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, my hair hurts. I haven't combed my hair in years. I ain't put the blow dryer on my hair like this in like over five years. My scalp hurts. Base my scalp with this soothing scalp salve because. I need something to soothe my scalp down. It's been through a lot. Now my hair is very coily. I'm talking about I have serious ringlets, serious shrinkage. I'm definitely like 4C for a fact. I, I even 4D, 4E, if you ask me. Like, I really got that deeply rooted hair. When I was growing up, my siblings would make fun of me because they would always say, you got nappy hair. It took me some time to fall in love with my hair texture and just accept my hair for what it is. As long as my hair is long, I'm good. Okay, so my hair is tied up. Hmm, finally. This is my hair ball I have. Before my wash, we'll think of it tangling after seven weeks. This is my ball after combing and blow drying. This are my balls all together. <laughs> These are my balls all together. Wow. But anyways, it's a nice little afro puff. So I wouldn't say I lost a lot of hair i just feel like it's naturally shed hair of course i probably lost unnecessary hair using a comb but i haven't used a comb in years i haven't blow dried my hair in years so i'm not shocked by this the longer your hair gets the bigger your pile is gonna get so that's understandable my hair is tender so of course the comb plucked some hair from my scalp and just like all this manipulation but I'm not mad at it. I'm going to assess my hair, not tomorrow, because I need a, a break. My scalp needs a break. But the day after, I'm going to assess my hair all out together and see, do I feel like how much I've grown, how much volume, am I losing volume? I'm just going to do a hair analysis. But this is what I use. These are the products that I use. I use one, two, three, four, five, six six, seven, seven different products in my hair today, all natural, all from coconuts.com in the link below. Thank you for watching. I'm about to clean up and go to sleep. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching my wash day routine. Well, this is not my routine because I would never, 
comb or blow dry my hair. This was just like a once in a while. Usually I would stop after I twisted my hair in big sections and keep it moving. But I did something extra just to you. So hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed because on the next episode, I'm going to go in and show you guys how I get my hair braided and how I protect my hair before my protective style. This is how I keep my hair nice and juicy and moisturized within my protective style for weeks at a time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. and.